So I have the documents. I will I will upload in the drive. So uh, all the uh, all the documents so I have separated. So these are all the yeah. So you are able to see right. These are all the different documents. So I will up upload. So I have shared some of the documents. So I will upload other the do other documents to the drive. Okay. So exporting data. So there are the, there are several ways. So there are different ways uh, to export the data. So uh, and we we have HCM start with the BA publisher. Okay, it's a business intelligence. So BA publisher and without BA publisher and we have the Oracle transactional business intelligence OTBA and uh, usually earlier technical people used to do all these things in the EBS environment. Hello, I think uh, connection lost. Hello. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. we can hear it. Yeah, yeah. Now you are able to hear it. Right? Yeah, actually there is a connection last. Yeah. Okay. Just one minute, please. Okay. Yeah, we have the different extract. So, so HCM extract with, with BA publisher and without BA, uh, so, so without BA publisher, okay. And what like the transaction business intelligence, so which, which we call it as the OTBA, and we can export Excel. So, button so we can go to the our form, so the fusion form, and then we can export the data. Okay, and it is a detailed document. So, using the uh, HCM extract, how we will do that? So, we'll We'll say uh, we'll share you this document. So we have the detailed step how to do that one. So here this is the system extract steps. So we'll work on it, but uh, at the same time, so we'll you, you can also go through the document. Okay. So now, yeah. Now uh, let us go to how to export to Excel button on the ADF tables. So then for that, what we can do is so let us go to the personal management. Let us go to the first management. So navigator and here uh, we have the first management. So I'll go to the persons management. So I'm just exporting the data from fusion form or oracle form. So here I can, I'm just giving the name. So you can you can give any name, but I'm giving you the name uh, so to export. So I'm just giving John search. So you will get the relevant data, and here so to export. So here, this is, this is the button, export to Excel. So once you click on that, 
so then it will be the data will be exported so this is one of the extract okay so we have the different extracts so out of that so this is one of the extract so we then we will discuss about hcm extract how how we do that so this one is just target exporting only exporting to excel it's a easy thing so user can do and no need of any kind of a format and any kind of uh, uh, defining any kind of uh, report all these things so just uh, so they can query the data and uh, the relevant data so they can query the relevant data and export so here click on export to excel just click on export to excel yeah so you can see that right so you can see here it is uh, exported and it is downloaded just click on export yeah here you can see that yeah this is the data so related to john okay the name related to john okay and maybe so th this one i think uh, maybe uh, the name uh, maybe the uh, last name or something maybe it is related to that one so here you can see the name of the person employee and the person number national id it is ssn number department location so user type so whether it is an employee or contract worker so like that okay so and the job relevant job and position okay and uh, assignment status so and uh, so the so the main information so related to the employee so the in, the in, main information you will you will get it so if it is a ter terminated then termination date okay so work number actions and everything so main main thing is so a employee employee job and position and where uh, the employee is working and, and uh, mail email id all this so you will get it so not only for this one so most of the functionalities most of the forms so so you will get it from the front end itself so just you need to query the relevant data and then you will get it so this is one way to extract the data so let us go to the other way so for that we need to we need to define the so uh, hcm extract definitions okay so let me go to the data exchange the ex data exchange so you need to go to the data exchange and there so you will find all kind of extractions so my workforce and data exchange so click on data exchange here click on data exchange here yeah so here you can see that you can see all the extracts so hcm data loader okay and uh, same extract so xm spreadsheet so using the spreadsheet how to load the data so we will discuss all these things okay so hcm uh, data loader how to load the data so spreadsheet it's nothing but it's a kind of a um, excel only so actually we so we will uh, so yeah, uh, we will have we, uh, information in the excel and uh, we will upload it okay and coexistence for xcm so uh, this one is the uh, coexistence is uh, it is between the ebs to uh, fusion if ebs after fusion so here it is a xc hcm extract um, so now let us create the extract so this one manage hcm extract definitions just the one minute please
Yeah, we'll click on this uh, manage extraction extract definitions. Manage extraction extract definitions. So just click on that. So now we are uh, defining the extract. So just click on create. So I'm going to create an extract, HCM extract, ANL HCM extract. And type is RQ data. Picture RQ. Then click on OK. Okay. So then these are all the parameters. Okay. So we have the date parameter, legislative group, and uh, the request ID, start date, report, category. So so these are all different parameters. If you, you if the client want, so then we can add one more because it's a, it's a kind of a so we are defining the extract and the user as a part of the implementation. So we are defining the extract and uh, the user can use this one using the extract. So then using this extract, then they can run the uh, report and uh, so they will get it. So I, 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 and if, if the user want to get directly, then so the user can go to the consent form and query with the relevant information. Then there is a, uh, so there is an option to export to Excel, which is called export to Excel button on ADF tables. So this is this uh, form is based on the ADF technology. Okay, so so they can export directly. Further, so no need of uh, uh, integration or no need of any definition. Just click on the button, they will get the information. Okay. So, so these, these parameters, so it's uh, as per the client need only. So based on the client need, so we will get it, all these points. Okay, so next one is, so we need to, so this, this I had defined based on the archive I had defined. Then we need to go to the switch layout. So then switch layout, click on switch layout. switch layout so then we need to define the data groups so where we need to get so from department data or employee data so you can give different uh, data groups so from that so you can pull the information so just click on the data group and you can create the data group so you need to create the data group and you need to connect the data groups you need to connect Okay, just click on the create data groups. So I'm just creating data group. So just create the data group. So here, so there are two things. So you can you can create department, and you can we can create the employee. So I'm just creating a and then department DEPT data group, and I can give the same tag here. And user entity. So this this one is this uh, per ex extension. Uh, so the organization UE. So this is a standard one for the department. We have so we have the document actually. So I had copied all these things from. Yeah. So all these things from uh, Oracle Metalink. Okay, so from the Metalink, so I had copied it. So Metalink is a Oracle support. So they used to support using the Metalink. So not only for the Oracle, so for all the um, for all the applications, people saw and other applications, Oracle applications. Okay, so here you can go to the data group filter so then we can you can 
we can filter it just click on save button and okay and here you can filter it so once you save it so just you need to can filter it so the filter criteria okay data group filter criteria so then you can go for the extract organization classification so you can you can go for the extract organization classification otherwise you can type the words extract so let me search it Extract organization classification. Organization classification, let me check. Organization classification. Actually, we, we need to have organization classification as well. So, okay, so because it's not a mandatory field, so okay, no issues. So, let me create, so save it. Save and create another. And let me create another. Okay, let me go for the edit.
Because the user entity does not exist. Okay. So let me close, delete it and create again. Click on the data groups. Okay, let's click on create. Okay. ANL employee and user entity is for the employee, this is the user entity. So organization for our section is there. So let me check with the other user entity. Search it. No shit shit. Okay. So then if it is not there, so let me go for the organization only. So related to so per extract assignment UE and here let me go for the not a payment related so payment rate is for the payroll things so extract person types yeah we we'll take this one. So then save. Then save and close. So we had created two and but here so the user entity is not um, so it is so it is not there in the existing. So let me assign the new one it is already test otherwise let me create one more
DPT or employee location. So search here. And you can you can check the location related or contacts. So now save save and close. So like this we can create uh, we can create the different data groups to pull the information. Okay, so then we can connect the data groups. So connect the data groups. So we can go to okay employee location and here you can connect it. Just click on add and you can connect it. Okay, so I am connecting to location to employee. So so this location is so connecting with the employee. So the parent uh, uh, data group. So here what you can do is extract related information. So employee ID and database item so it's a, everything is a back end tables only okay so um, i want to pull the data from this attribute it's a kind of a back end data okay so once we connect this one then save it Okay, so let me go for the employee location and we can create data groups and here you can go for the records, data group records. So just click on records. Okay, for the employee, so you can create different, different records. So I am taking the sequence, sequence number one. Sequence number one, employee name, employee name, employee gender, date of birth, salary, bonus. Okay, so I'm just taking the employee name. And here the type is, so, so which one it is? So the type, you can give, you can data type. So I am just taking the header record, from the header record you can pull like that. Okay. So and the process type is pass formula. Okay, so then you can save it. So once you save it then so it will be attributes will be enabled. So here you can go to the attributes. Just click on the attribute, create button, and here you can create you can create the n number of attributes. So okay, so employee name is one attribute, so gen so gender, then uh, date of birth, salary, bonus, so related to all this. You can create so you can add up so so because uh, once we once we run the report then what happens is so these so employee related information so it will pull up because here uh, so um, so here in the ADF tables what happens is so I, I am just able to get the information which is provided by Oracle it is a standard standard data and using the HCM extract definition we can pull so as per our requirement so earlier so in EBS so we, we used to have the report customization. So then the technical people used to do that. So now even the functional person can do that using the extract. Now I'm going to create employee name. So 
So you can give the short code so EMP001. And data type, so it's a text I am taking, data type. And database site, so type is here, you can, you can go for the so data, database item group, database item group. And database item group related. So I can take the person full name. person's full name so otherwise let me search here so pia search so usually it is a kind of a technical activity so but in the fusion so even functional person need to do this Okay, person. Okay, here we have added the contact information, right? So then I let me take the contact category. So then here output label. So I can take the uh, EMP information and column number one. Then save it. Okay. So then you can create you can create one more like this. So employee name, then I can go for the so one more related to employee data about salary all these things So data type is text. You can go for the text or number. So if it is a date related, date of birth, then you can go for the date. And it is a salary, then you can go for the number. So I'm just giving the text here. So database item group. So person gender. So we can go for the person gender. Here I am not able to get this one. So let me check in the employee information. So let me create a record here. So there's the sequence number one. So the 
type is you can go for the header record and save it so just click on create empty data type is test and database item so here we need to get the gender details getting the gender details here maybe the problem is with uh, this one on the user identity user entity for extension so if I you see here Employee should be the assessment assignment E and department should be the organization E. So then only uh, we can get the relevant information. So let me try for the new department. For the department, we can create the department. Department location or department. So let me go for the department location. Sequence number one. DEPT location. And type is uh, so head header record. And we can go for the process formula. So once save it. So it will be attributes will be added. So attributes is where the information. So we need to get the location details. The relevant tables and everything. So DEPT location. Because here everything is we need we are mapping the uh, tables. So that uh, region tables and uh, where so from which table we need to get the information like that. Data type is text. Location is text only. Database item group. So this is extract organization location code. Extract organization location code. So attribute date, number. We have the number. So we can give any kind of organization 
but I, I am not able to find the exact um, so exact data so item group all these things so let me cancel it and create one more Because if it is so main thing is based on this one only. Okay, so based on the so UA user entity and we so it will pull it will pull the data. So because while creation of this data groups, so I, we are not able to find this one. These are the standard one only, standard variable tables. So we need to go to the data exchange. Data exchange is the main thing. This is the functionality so here so let me click on save okay so let me try once so otherwise i will check and i will come back so many extra definition and click on create so let me create only one data so I am taking for a department then we will go for the employee the department data so here so I am taking uh, analog or okay let me go for g g department data okay but uh, i am taking some hr archive So just click on OK. The main thing is we need to check with that uh, user entity only. Then save here. And click on switch layout. So here I am going to create the data groups. So this is fine. So while creation of the so here, HCM definition that the hashtag definition is fine. So now data group. So click on data group. So here I am uh, facing the issue while creating user entity. Based on the user entity only, so we can create the records and the attributes and everything. So here I am not able to find so this one organization UE. for extract organization UE. Okay, so we have different different organization PR EXT extract. So we have we need to have the CC. Yeah, CC is there. So history is there, but I am not able to find Automation related. SCC automation UE. So for extract of history, person, work relationship. So this is a VSA related. You can, we can. So it will so other 
So, okay, passport related identifier. If you want to pull the data related to national identifier, this is a table. Okay, per uh, so PR uh, national identifier CV. So, from that, it will pull the data. In the same way, I am not able to find this one as well. So, for extract assignment TV. So, so, anyhow, so let me check any other things, other kind of history, contact, citizenship. Okay, so let me go for the national interface so just for the practice purpose and uh, tomorrow I will come back with the uh, main tables because so here it's a standard wave tables so we, we are not doing anything for this so I need to check that. And here I am taking data is employee SSN. Employee social security. Okay, so and we don't need the advance. It's not required. Okay, so then save. So once you save, so then we will get the records. So let me create the record here. Click on create. So sequence number one and the em employee SSN and tag is you can go for the header record and process type is fast formula and save it once you save it then attributes will be enabled yeah attributes will be enabled so click on that attributes so now I am taking employee SSN data so here I can take the number because SSN is related to number only and data item group database item group so here let me select the relevant term
interface. Okay, person national identifier ID. Person national identifier ID. So we need to check with the person. So person national identifier ID. And click on OK. Okay. So here I can take the EMP. Assistant label one. So then uh, save it. If you want any other information related to SSN, so then so we can create attributes like that. Because if you run this extract, what happens is so you will get the employee SSN data. Because uh, actually I plan for uh, department and employee data, and uh, so user entity is not there. I will check. I will check it, and let me go. Let me uh, create. Save and create another. So let me create a one more uh, attribute. So I am creating the attribute employee assistant information. And and it is related to number only. Otherwise, I can I can take the date when it was created like that. You can take the date as well. And database item. And here you can go for the. person set it because main thing is based on this table only we will get it so otherwise we can't get because it is a map between the user entity to, to all these things because if we assign this uh, user entity so then only because uh, while creation of the employee data so I had a uh, so I had assigned related to employee identifier. So, uh, so employee identifier is it's a kind of access social security, any kind of identifier, national identifier. So that's why I'm able to get some data here. Otherwise, we can't. Yeah, here uh, personal issue date. Yeah, you can see that person national identifier issue date when it when it was issued. Then click on OK. So employee SSN date, that is a label and uh, output column, so I can take two. So uh, I had given one for uh, previous one, now it is two. Then save. So like this, we can create all the data related to SSN information. So uh, whatever it is required. So I had taken the number, date, and then uh, you can uh, so you can uh, you can uh, you can take uh, uh, anything so uh, maybe it's a kind of a location whatever it may be so related to SS information so then we can we can get it so you can also check so whether there is any kind of information related to personal national identifier you can you can search it so the uh, the available information provided by Oracle. So just go to the person and set it. Okay. So issue date and issue country, you can have this if you want. And created by creation date, expiration date, and ID. So these are all the different things, okay? So uh, different uh, information. So you, you can you can you can use for the so attributes. If you if you select the attribute, so a person identification this number, okay, national identifier number, 
and a person id place of issue okay so if you want the place of issue you can take so like this we can create we can create all the attributes okay based on the attributes so um, so it will it will pull the information from from the attributes so if i if i run this test right what happens is so i will get the information related to ssn information because so the data so this one is so it is uh, showing because uh, we don't have we 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 had given the wrong um ue user uh, identity for this so now it is uh, failing but ssn is not a problem so let me for a g set here yeah I think we have taken G and A and L, right? So this is A and L extract, and the other one is I have taken G extract. Okay. Is it uh, G department data I have taken? Okay, so you can go for the switch layout. Yeah, here this one only. Okay. So then what happens is one you can generate formula, compile all these things. Okay. You can go to the e department data. You need to go to generate formula and compile. You can generate formula and then you can compile it. So this is a process for any so for each and everything because now I had taken SSN because uh, SSN uh, uh, so that the uh, what I call so uh, user related user related entity, so I am able to get it. But for the employee and department, I am not able to get the user entity. Okay. So for anything, so this is the process. So okay, tomorrow let us create a so so let us create a few so few more um, uh, data groups. Okay. And then so so the the process is the same thing. So not only for the department employee or assistant, so any kind of data you can pull that. And if you want to give all the information, so employee, department, so SSN, and then any kind of information, so then you can you can select so in one extract, and once you run the extract, and then you will get all the information, because it's a kind of a uh, customized. What I can say that it's a kind of a customized. Okay, if you want to get the information from the table from the form itself, then you can go to the form and export. So then the, you will get the data within the form. So if you want to get the data as per the client requirement, so then we need to create the extract like that and we can run the extracts. Okay. Okay. So yeah, thanks for joining. So tomorrow I will, uh, so we will discuss the extracts only, but with the different data groups and different uh, data. And I will check this one as well. So why, why there is a problem with this one? Because it's not our, we didn't create it. The tables are, uh, it's a standard tables only. So we must or should get this one. Even I had, uh, I had, I, I pulled the information from the SR itself, all the information. So this is the third extract SCC, the same thing only. I had taken the same thing only. So we'll check again in the application. So we have two, one more uh, server. So we'll check in the server. Yeah, yes, please. Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah yes, someone. Um, when when you extract, do you extract the CSV file or the Word file? Doc file. 
Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, uh, so yeah, you will get the CSV file. So, you need to select the data format. So, based on that, uh, so you will get it. So, you will get the CSV file and uh, then you can convert that one. So, uh, otherwise, you can get directly from the Excel. So, while the, I will show you while running the report how, how we will get it. Because we are not running the report, right? So, we are just um, just creating the uh, so database. So, we, can, we are just creating the uh, report. And after that, we can run the, run the extract. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So tomorrow, so let us run uh, report for the assessment information, and we'll check this uh, department uh, re employee related the tables. Okay. So have, you, uh, have you seen the documents also? Uh, sorry, Yaman. Have Have you sent the document? Yeah, no, no, no. I will upload. I will upload in the in our drive. So we have we have the drive, right? So I will upload all these documents. So we'll upload. I okay. Have, I have all the documents. So we'll upload. So I will uh, create one folder like a uh, Fusion HCM document. Okay. So we'll upload, and you can you can download that one. So I mean, we'll upload this record and also these documents. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And also, I have the previous records as well because we don't request once we have the class. The previous sessions records also, no, not for, for our uh, session and previous record, session records also there. But mine, so, so let us, if you are in a, if you have, if you are in a hurry mode or any, any project, so already we had completed most of the topics and we need to complete, um, so other topics uh, as well, but it will not take much, much more time. Okay. So usually the global HR uh, will take much more time and we, we, we discuss the global HR. And others will not take much more time. Okay, so definitely we will go through that. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Thanks for joining. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.